Hey, welcome back to this channel. My name is Wix Manguda, and I'll be on here for the very first time by myself. It's a bit scary, but uh, let's start. <laughs> to ask me anything and I promised to answer of which people really came through and they asked a few questions and I'm grateful thank you so much uh, so I'm going to divide the questions into three so there's going to be content creation lifestyle and marriage I, the first question is I'm looking down at uh, the questions things we did together when will it be back miss it um, I think I'm going to keep the handles of the people who asked the questions uh, anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, as you've noticed, uh, the channel name has changed from Things We Did Together to Weeks and Rolls. This is because um, when COVID happened uh, this year, uh, it was time for us to like really review and we felt like we were putting ourselves uh, in a box and we wanted to do other things other than travel like you know everything about weeks and walls hence the name but tuko masasa tuko kabisa i love your creativity it's on another level i pray for something big for you on content creation oh thank you thank you thank you so much from your mouth from my mouth to the lord's ear uh, are you pursuing content creation full-time now honestly no but i'd love it if it was i'd really do <laughs> that would be so cool um how's your production process uh so this is how it goes i experience something um and then I think about it a lot, a lot. Like, I'm just thinking about it, and then I shoot it. Or sometimes it just the an idea just comes, and I shoot it. Yeah. Uh, what and who inspires your creativity? I would say daily life events, uh, like maybe something I've seen or talking to someone and maybe um, a situation happens yeah just daily life events <laughs> uh -huh. uh, do you ever experience creative blog if yes how do you deal with that um, I do I do I do experience it and sometimes I even overthink it and start thinking oh my god is this the end is this how it all comes to an end um, and then I take a break for like a week or two weeks and then I give it a shot again yeah what camera do you use to shoot your content and what uh, software do you use to edit uh, for camera I use a note 10 plus and for editing I use Adobe Premiere Pro <laughs> they call me the crim de la crim Africa's number one DJ and what about now I want to introduce Africa's number one MC they call him Kali let's go hey. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and the ladies of the fellas, the shorties, the mothers and all the babies Graph is my name but I wasn't born in the 80s, I was born in the 90s in the city of Nairobi But check this, there's a good one, there's your ID, born on the question and I can follow, I can decide Take a selfie and post it on IG, the way I kick clients, go beat, nigga, tai chi Different angle, 
we move uh, so the next category I'm going to be tackling is going to be lifestyle so the first question is sister lock journey so far how old hair routines how is it treating you so far um, I installed my sister lock last year September 2nd so it's, it's been slightly over one year and I'm loving it so hair routine uh, wash your hair once a week and I only use water on my hair no oil no nothing um, I really wanted to do that for six months uh, even after it's locked so that it locks like completely completely considering I had dyed my hair uh, before before what before installing the sister locks <laughs> yeah I had dyed my hair uh, so it was a bit tricky for it to like lock completely because now the hair was uh, kind of loose but yeah do I like it I like it any regrets I would say maybe dyeing my hair yeah because I mean I think I overdid it so it's even been cutting uh, so the second question your skincare routine because your skin is amazing thank you even though right now I have foundation on now to me to me wake up to make come you know <laughs> uh, so I started doing skincare routine earlier on this year actually when COVID started that's when I started like really taking being intentional about taking care of my skin so I normally do face masks over the weekend. I use the black charcoal one or the magnetic one by Dix. I don't know if that's how you say the company name, brand name, but yeah. Uh, I use those two masks and then I wash my face with neem soap and then I apply oil control, oil control cream, oil oil what is it? Oil complete control cream uh, plus moisturizer <laughs> and then I also apply uh, Nivea sunscreen yeah it has an SPF of 50 yeah and, and I like it I like it somebody had asked uh, sunscreen recommendations maybe face plus, plus body I will see the Nivea one I've been using it and I love it uh -huh. Are your eyes really blue? Uh, no. <laughs> but how cool would it be if they were? I normally wear contacts which happen to be blue. Um, yeah. But I think blue eyes are really, really cool. Uh, where do you get your contacts from? And are they medical or cosmetic? I get my contacts from Optica or Urban Tortoise. Uh, are they medical? Yes, they are. You will never listen to this song the same way again. kitchen i'm so sorry we are now here <laughs> made myself a cup of tea and we keep moving uh so this topic is marriage uh and relationships yeah <laughs> uh so uh this one says um went to school with you and we all wondered how you are so smart yet married kudos Thank you, thank you so much. Um, where and when did you and your husband meet? Imagine we met at Easy Coach. He, somebody should have frozen time, eh? And everyone should have just frozen and then cue slow music and then it's just me and him looking at each other. But no, it, it was quite busy. It was 
really busy. Uh, so my sister had organized this mission trip and she had invited her friends from campus, Walter being one of them, and her sisters to go to Kakuma. And yeah, we were meeting at Easy Coach so that we take off. And that's when I first met Walter. Um, we were friends from 2011 all the way to 2015 when we started dating. Uh, how old are you and your husband? Uh, and how old were you when you got married? I'm going to answer how old we are when we got married. Uh, we got married in 2016. There's also someone who was asked when did you get married. We got married in 2016. Uh, I was 23 and he was 27. Do the math. Do the math. Eh? <laughs> uh, how do you deal with heartbreak when, how did you deal with heartbreak when you were younger? Um, I used to eat a lot of junk food. Uh, anything with potatoes, warus, I would eat that a lot and any other junk food, chocolates, you name it. And then do that for like a week. I was like, cry, 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 cry. Uh, and then after a week, I just move on. Just move on. Um, what are the two things that helped you and your husband remain sane while dating? Uh, we used to come up with projects and ideas together and this resulted to us having real talks uh, so and that really helped like you talk about anything and everything like you you see you don't lose it yeah <laughs> uh, how did you raise funds uh, to do your wedding considering you got married quite young large portion of the funds came from our savings and then our family also came through bless them and our friends as well they really came through for us thanks guys how do you find marriage life what are the challenges uh how do i find it i find it to be fun fun uh, and free because now you're free to to make your own decisions uh, you've started your own family so you're free to do this and that without consulting anyone um i'll say the biggest challenge uh that we've gone through is you've had 20 something years of your own life uh and he's had 20 something years of his own life and so we have different, two different ways of doing things. But now that you're married, you have to find one way of doing something uh, which will work for both of you. Um, sometimes that's quite a challenge, but I'm glad uh, this far we've managed. How did the two of you deal with grief? Um, I... Honestly, I haven't figured it out and I have no formula on how to go about it. Uh, still going up um, about it. Uh, but I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Uh, I think what has kept us going is whenever we, we feel... Um, like really sad about it we talk about it and we we really miss our mom like like crazy so just keep talking about it and sharing and remembering memories we shared with her um still dealing with it Uh, ooh, um, detailed video on dating keyword detailed <laughs> this is something nice to consider and think about it and even shoot with Walter so 
Thank you for the idea. <laughs> uh, budgeting, saving, and spending investments. What would you advise? Uh, I again. This is one thing that I'm still one of the things I'm still figuring out. But um, there's this app on Google Play Store that has really come through for us in such a huge way. Uh, it's called One Money. Uh, so what the app uh, generally does, it, it tracks uh, your spending. And then th that way you get to learn how to budget for the things that you really want to prioritize. And as well as uh, think about saving and investments uh i think it's it's really wise to do to do so because you never know you may not be employed all your life or even when you retire you you need to be secure uh financially so yeah i other than suggesting one money i would say save and invest uh, what would you advise dating couples on doing business together and buying land together? I'll share with you what we did. When it came to investing together, uh, we were business partners. And so we handled everything professionally uh, that way in case anything uh, were to happen. Um, the agreement would still apply. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. What's the secret to a happy marriage from your experience? Also, how do you handle? Uh, I'd say being real with each other and understanding that you're bound to hurt someone. Um, hence, creating a way of dealing with conflict. Uh, so that you can both achieve the great goal that you have together. Yeah. Uh -huh. All things wedding planning and tips and tricks from yours. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so uh, during our wedding planning phase, I was in school and Walter was really engaged in his work, uh, so we we weren't really there. So we got a we got like great help from people. Wait, actually, that's advice. I mean, get help where you can. Uh, if if you can delegate. Um, different things for people to do people that you trust people who really love you and want the best for you yeah that's advice i thought i didn't have any because i was in school then kindly advice on how one can introduce their better half to strict parents <laughs> i can't relate uh but uh I can imagine myself in that situation. I would introduce them as Rafiki. Hey, mom, un rafikiangu anaitwa so and so. Yeah, Rafiki. How did your families take the news of you two getting married young? They were quite happy. They were really happy. Actually, some of them even cried. Mnajijua. <laughs> uh, but they were also concerned like were we really serious we are doing it yeah. but they were quite happy <laughs> how long did you and Walter date before settling for marriage so started dating in May 2015 and got married in December 2016 so one year, seven months. Yes. Uh, Mshawai Fasana na Walter. How did that go? Kwanza vile you two are soft spoken. E we kosana sana. Ay. 
Eh, hey, we have so we normally kosana and then we start naanza kuchokozana. Yeah, and then now that's where again the real talk comes in. Hey, you you just just say my things how how you feel, how you felt at that particular point. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, yeah. I love for sasa the some of those questions you know those questions that uh, you you don't know where they fall <laughs> uh so I hope una support man you man you know I support you <laughs> okay uh this one says mbio ya mgambo ikilia kuna jambo ama <laughs> so just about to finish editing uh the video and then i decided let me just check and confirm i answered each and every single question that people asked me only to realize kuna zenye shu zilini zilini pita and i'm so sorry and i don't know how i missed them considering some of them so many people asked the same question so here goes uh when is the previous coming uh when the lord wills and we can't wait <laughs> uh what do you and your husband do for a living uh walter is an architect and i'm a project manager uh the third question is where do you get your nails done when you do um uh, i <laughs> first allow me to mention i don't know whether it's the season i'm in right now i'm not a fan of having my nails done i'll just do them by myself at home remove cuticles clean them uh, nail file them uh, but uh, when i do have my nails done i either go to lux nails which is in town or young nails i'll put the contacts to all these people or their handle instagram handles uh, on the description box so that if you want to reach out to them you can uh allow me to also mention uh the lady who does my hair she's called tabby she has uh, a salon at valley kid uh i'll also leave her contacts in the description box she's really good and she is yeah she's a great loctician that's all i can say she's really really good at what she does um the other question when was it that you know this is it for you in content creation uh, i i don't know quite yet uh, but uh, i'll say maybe the video that i did and really like really pumped me up to keep going is the wimby cookies video the salsa one salsa cookies and then there's also the one i did for calligraph the egg one i've inserted it in this video um yeah that one those are the two that really kept me like don't stop keep going keep going keep creating keep creating yeah <laughs> and i i I'm, I'm still going yeah so help me god uh the other question is you have so many celebrities supporting you how do you feel about that i am so so grateful and i don't know can, can i like just mention the people like who've really been encouraging me a week doesn't end uh, without any one of these people encouraging me and i'm Nashukuru, nashukuru sana. So first of all, my content creation journey, I want to give thanks to God uh, for the ideas he gives me. I am so grateful. He knows I am. I really am. The second is Walter, my husband. This guy takes time off work sometimes to just come and shoot me or listen to an idea I have and even Changia. Asante, thank you. Uh, thank you, baby. Uh, the other people, the celebrities, uh, I want to thank Bright Gambelli. Thank you. Thank you so much. He's been pushing me from day one. Uh, so there's Bright Gambelli, Joe Mushiri, Real Mike Washira, uh, Kavis Memes, uh, 
Shiv, Oliver uh, Matenge, uh, DJ Creme, De La Creme, all these people, like, they've really been psyching me up and I am so, so grateful, Wahura, um, oh my god, Tefu Mulinge, uh, this chick really, <laughs> she really keeps telling me, let's do this, let's do this. There's also Miliwa Jesus, um, who's been quite supportive as well. I am so grateful and Asante Nisana, I am also here for you guys. I know, I hope you know that, that I also support your work. Sana sana, so keep going, keep going. <laughs> uh, I think that that's it oh well just one more question <laughs> just one more question um hi weeks same class with you in Desta. such a smart student graduated top of our class uh do you still pursue computer science i do practice it uh <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you so much uh do i i don't practice it i i it picked a point sometime early this year I stopped enjoying uh, programming and I just switched to project management of which I'm happy with it right now um, yeah I'm happy but uh, I try my best to keep practicing a few things here and there when I have time yeah <laughs> I guess we never stop learning so thank you so much guys for watching this video till here uh, I really appreciate sana sana if there's any of the questions I answered and especially the ones I didn't have a solution or any of the questions actually uh, the money one the wedding one um, and you feel like you have better advice or a solution just feel free to comment on the comment section down below I am so grateful for you guys each and every person who asked the question if you've noticed I inserted some of the videos I've been doing on my Instagram. Feel free to check out more of those on my Insta on my Instagram at weeks underscore Manguza. Uh, also, please remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button for notifications every time we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video which I'm hoping and praying it will be soon because I'm trying to keep this consistency. Yes, so, so bye guys. <laughs>